Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding and Creating. Today is our second day uh, with uh, Google Drawing. So first time we did this, I just had you focus on creating some eyeballs, like sort of on like on our our little uh, Elmo character right here. So you you took a, a some circles and a little call out star sort of shape and made a highlight in the eye, and um, then we just used some basic shapes to make. Um, our character so something similar to this we used a moon sort of shape to make um, to make the uh, mouth and here we have a circle the by the way this character's hair is made from the cloud shapes so if you like that sort of hair you can put that in I have a cloud here on the top and then a cloud behind her head to make it look like a uh, She's got hair, so that's another way to make a character. Now, today we're going to continue our lessons with Google Draw to show you how to make a character's body like this um, and uh, to show you some different techniques. So first of all, to get to Google Drawings, if you go to Google Drive, because most people know how to do that, if you click New, go to More, and then go to Google Drawings, you can click right there and it will open up a brand new drawing. I'm just going to go back to my existing drawing and I'll just use this little workspace to draw. That way if you want to see any of these shapes, okay? So first thing is, if I want to draw a stick person like this, I'm going to go to this menu right here. Now it's called Select Line and when I choose it, notice that if I pick different ones, this icon changes. So if I go to arrow, all of a sudden it looks like an arrow. So yours may look different depending on which tool you have selected. So I want to start with this top one, which is called line, and then this icon will look like that. When I draw a line right down, I'm just going to draw it pretty much straight down, and uh, notice that there's a slight blue highlight that means it's selected. I'm just going to leave that, and I'm going to go to this control and change the weight of the uh, line to make it thicker. Okay, so I, I just made an eight-point line. You can make it uh, whatever looks good for your character. Um, now, if I don't click anything else, those settings will stay. So if I just click my mouse down, I can draw a stick person like this. Now, one little thing about stick people. If I were to just do this basic stick person, that's okay. But it's really hard to give them personality and animate them. So what you can do is go another step and give them knees and elbows and even some feet, okay? So see how I can sort of make this character look like, like they're running, all right, kind of fun. So maybe they're going like this, she's bending her arm, maybe she's sort of, she's giving someone a hug there, or he is, I'm not sure which character that is. So we've got a little stick person. Now, to be able to move all of these lines and treat them like one graphic, we need to group them together. So I'm going to go up here to this arrow tool, which is called Select. And I click on it, and then I'm going to drag a box around my line segments there. And um, notice that my cursor goes from an arrow, but if I hover over the top, it turns into this sort of shape. So see how that works? If I two-finger click on top of those characters, I can say to group. And now when, once I group those lines together, see how I can move them around? And um, now I could take one of my characters and put their head on it. So that might be an Elmo stick figure, okay? Or it might be this character right here, okay? Now, one thing I want you to notice is that when you put the character head on there, see how this line is going over the top of the head? What you might have to do is either click on the head or on the body, but if I two finger click on the head, two finger click, I can go to order and say bring that head to the front and now it's that way the body will be right behind it, okay? Um, now another thing that you can you do for your characters is you can create a um, little clothing like this uh, dress thing here or like that little skirt there. And um, let me show you how that works. You use a different type of line tool. It's right down here. This one called Curve is the one that you want to use. It's called Curve. So I click on that. That's what the icon looks like. And what happens is you click your mouse and it looks like nothing's happening except there's like this little blue sort of string 
stuck to my cursor. I can click again and notice that there's like this little, it's like I've got gum on my shoe, all right? So I can click again here. And then as I come near this open end, see how it snaps together as I move close? Once it closes up, I can click and it will just sort of fill with a de default color. Right now it's this light blue. So let's say I want to give my character a little outfit. Let's say maybe it's a uh, purple sort of color or something like that. Okay, now I wanna move this around. So to move things around, you have to use this select tool. So I'll click here and I'll put it down here. I gave my little character, now she's got a little skirt on and I'll move maybe my character's head down and um, I can Let's see, I'm going to tap, make sure I go to order, bring her to the front. Maybe I'll use my arrow keys just to try to position her a little bit. Maybe her head is a little bit out of proportion to the body, so let me try to shrink it down a little bit. Okay, so if I like my character, do that. If you want, you can drag a box around all of those parts and move it around as a unit. You can right click, or sorry, two finger click or right click if you have a mouse and you can say group and now it will treat it like one sort of character and I can resize things a little bit just as one so we've got the line tools we've got these line tools right here and once you put in a line you can change its properties and make it heavier and so on all right now um, some of these characters like this um, what they're doing is they're just using those same um, tools that I just showed you to create all of these elements. So if we go here and you look at this character, can you see how they're using all these different ones? Now with this one, see how there's very straight angles on, on her hair and things like that? If you want to do more of that blocky look, instead of this tool that's called Curve, this this character is made with this one called polyline. So you can click like this and see how it's sort of making her hair. You can just, I'm clicking at each little spot. And then when you um, come back, when you close it up, it fills in with color. And then we could uh, do sort of whatever color. She's sort of got a, uh, um, a gradient hair color. So let's go here, maybe make it whatever color. But you can see how that how that character, I gotta use the little arrow tool to be able to pick, move it around. But you can see how her hair is created with that. Uh, let's see, um, you can use those same tools to make um, uh, different art like this. So you can see those different cool things here. Let me uh, make sure this is all grouped together. I'm gonna right two finger click and see, let's, let me say group, that way I can resize this a little bit so you see how I've got a cool flower and some moon shapes and things like that so that's another type of art that you can make with google draw and you can see these different eyeballs different ways to do highlights and uh let's see those are the main things um these little eyelashes by the way if you want to make those the way that that was done is if you go to your shape tool um, there's these call outs like if you grab one that's got a lot of uh, different um, spikes on it like here's one there's this little yellow handle I can pull this down and sort of make these really thin these are going to turn into eyelashes so if I go to the uh, color make it black what you can do is you can take an eyeball and sort of put it on we're going to sort of put this behind this eyeball. So here I can stretch it out maybe just a little bit and sort of imagine what that's going to look like. Maybe use my arrow keys. If you two finger click on it, you can go to order, send it to the back. So see how you can get a little bit of eyelashes behind an eyeball. That's what uh, how these were created. So your mission today is to just continue making some art with Google Draw. You can make one of your characters if you want to try to make one of this sort of anime style um, eyeballs with different highlights like that, you can. Um, here's a little angry bird and that was using that little curved line tool. Um, this anime sort of style character is using 
some of these polyline shapes to draw that one. These shoes are just the same little tools. You got little Nike symbols. And um, have fun making art with Google Draw. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. When you're ready to share, um, if you uh, go up here to the, uh, the file and you um, can save it as a JPEG, you can say download as a JPEG, that's a really good format to turn into me because it makes it super easy for me to put into our slideshow. So, but whatever format you turn it in is fine. JPEG is preferred and I cannot wait to see what you create with Google Drawing. Have fun!